community is definitely very important and feeling supported in that way is a vital part to business too. Welcome to Kicking with KPOC. We're going to be talking about how traditional and digital advertising can work together. And we're going to be joined by Ashley Sika from Green Bench Monthly, which is a magazine here in St. Pete that has a circulation of 16,000, and it features stories about local residents, businesses, the city, and more. Where should we go from there, Marilla? Well, I guess here at KPOC Marketing, we help people with digital marketing, and we always come across different groups of businesses, I guess. There, there's a group of businesses that believes that digital marketing is not important. And there's sure. also a group of people who believe that traditional marketing is dead and like print ads and all of that stuff are dead. And then we always tell people, actually, they're both kind of very alive and very sure. important. And we always suggest that people do a mix. Mm -hmm. And so do you come across people who are like that, too? Who Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think there was this whole trend, uh, you know, uh, late 90s, early 2000s, uh, you know, computers kind of took the world by storm. And everybody was looking at that going, why would we ever need paper again? Mm -hmm. This is fantastic. And to a certain degree, yes, I, it's I, digital is fantastic. And I, it definitely um, uh, has its purpose and it can complement print in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But uh, last year, Nielsen released a report saying that uh, more than two thirds of the population still reads some form of print publication. So uh, print isn't dying. It's not what everybody anticipated. So we definitely have uh, a lot of people who still turn to print. And I think it's a nice relief from uh, digital, sometimes staring at the screen all day. It's nice to, to pick up something that's not moving, something that you can, you know, hold on to and you can share. Uh, there is something nice and something to be said for that static um, yeah. uh, publication. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I'm yeah. a huge book person, and sure. everyone's like, "Oh, you're so crazy! You don't, you're not like reading the stuff on your Kindle or what?" I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't. Yeah, to each their own. And sometimes there is a place for a Kindle. I mean, I yes. I read on my tablet too. I have airplanes, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I there's definitely I there's a nice mix. They complement each other. Yeah, so. it's. I'm definitely more of a person. Yeah, obviously, I don't live under a rock. Like, I go online sure, and I do that you my need it. digital yeah. moments. <laughs> but when I need to unwind, I, I definitely like Absolutely. to feel something and flip the pages and look at the pictures. And uh, which brings me to the next point of let, I guess let's talk about a little bit about Green Bench Monthly and what is it and uh, think like anything you can share about the magazine. Sure. With us. We're a community magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, we publish uh, hyper-local content. So okay. we focus on the Northeast St. Pete area. Uh, we direct mail to uh, over 15,500 homes in zip codes 33701, mm -hmm. 04, and 13. So uh, that's the bulk of our readership. We also offer subscriptions, and we drop off extra copies at local businesses. So uh, there's also an opportunity to uh, get it if you live outside the area. Okay. So who reads magazines and who reads your magazine? What is that quintessential person? Uh, for us, I, it's really about values. It's about people who value the community, are interested in local business. Um, uh, you know, I think everybody reads a magazine for different uh, reasons. So mm -hmm. for us, it's really about St. Pete. It's about people who love where they live. Uh, they want to get to know their neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a column called People of St. Pete. Uh, everybody loves it. It's a chance to get to know uh, kind of behind the scenes. We feature everybody from, uh, you know, uh, trolley drivers to uh, drivers directors of history museums. So uh, it's really kind of a up close and personal picture of the people that are living and working in St. Pete. And uh, I think our readers really enjoy that and value it. Yeah, I definitely get that feel from your magazine. And you actually brought in a copy, which I guess mm -hmm. comes out today. It does. Which is We're kind of a big deal. <laughs> and um, before I even actually knew you, uh, this was one of my favorite magazines, I, and I don't oh, even awesome. know how I came across it. I think it was uh, that my previous job when we were in the bb and building, I s somehow ended up in our mailbox, and I thought, well, this, this is kind of cute. Aww. It feels very... 
local and very absolutely yeah not, like super uppity and like very like we down are very to earth. local yes our grounded local content is uh what we feature so it's what's near and dear to our hearts well this is it's definitely one of my favorites and so who is the quintessential business or person who would advertise in your magazine primarily local business uh, if okay. you flip through uh, the pages you'll see it's um, uh, everybody from uh, local services we have a uh, cleaning service and uh, air conditioning services mm-hmm. to um, you know spas facials um, uh, we have uh, coffee shops um, really just local businesses. Uh, We do open up space for um, other advertisers. We don't limit it, but typically what we attract is local businesses, people who are targeting the Northeast St. Pete area. Okay. Yeah. Um, So as as a local magazine, do you also consider yourself a small business? And, Absolutely. And what are your <laughs> challenges as a small business? How do you keep this thing going? And what are the ups and downs and the, the good and the bad? And <laughs> um, I, I think sometimes it's just kind of keeping up with the response. We, I, you know, we started working for a group of community magazines I, mm-hmm. out of college. My husband and I did. So uh, we've been in publishing for a while now. Uh, when we moved out to St. Pete, we saw a need for a community magazine like this. Uh, there just wasn't anything in the area that was really um, putting out the type of content that we would like to see. Mm-hmm. Um, so for us, you know, we were just hoping to, uh, you know, have a few readers and have enough to, you know, get some local businesses to advertise, to support and, mm-hmm. you know, keep us going. Um, since we started publishing, the response has been uh, overwhelming. I, this definitely was something that St. Pete needed. And uh, we're so grateful that uh, the residents and businesses are um, open and uh, receive the publication each month. So uh, for us, I think it's just kind of... Um, uh, uh, figuring out what content to run when, uh, timing wise, uh, mm-hmm. we're a monthly publication. So, uh, it's important that, uh, you know, we're keeping things relevant and fresh and you feel like you're getting something new each month, uh, that you haven't seen before. Um, and yeah, I, it definitely keeps us on our toes. So, and I think you guys do a really good job with keeping oh, it you. fresh and relevant. Um, every time I get an issue, I learn something new. That's awesome. And and then I always like steal it and then I use it in conversations <laughs> with my friends. Please, <laughs> please do. And my friends always think that I'm like this connected person who's in the know. That's perfect. But I really just read your magazine. That's and, awesome. Um, which kind of reminds me, um, not long ago, I went to a marketing conference in Boston and there was this uh, keynote speaker who talked about stories and how stories are people's currency for having mm-hmm. conversations and I feel like your magazine is kind of like that and um, oh, thank you even when you guys did a story about us as a marketing agency back in the day a few months ago maybe, I don't have maybe it has been like a year or so I think it was almost, almost a year yeah. almost a year oh guys are due for what, is one, go- so. I, what is going on <laughs> um, the response that we got was amazing like people That's are calling awesome. us and just saying, you know, I read the story. I think that you guys are a great match for us. And I'm like, oh my god, like us? Like how did you hear about us? And it was it was your magazine. Yeah, I those stories are great. It really gives people an opportunity mm-hmm. to get to know you on a level that they wouldn't otherwise from, uh, you know, maybe just seeing an ad on Facebook or you know hearing a bit on the radio. Mm-hmm. Uh, we run you know full feature stories uh, about the businesses that advertise with us, so it's a great opportunity for our readers to you know get to know more about your business, why you do what you do, uh, you know, meet your team. We have photographers that go out and take photos. So um, it's really kind of a documentary style process. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I think there's uh, a lot to be said for that. Uh, People like to establish that connection before they make that first call or inquire, you know. Yeah. Um, It kind of does a lot of the sales work for you. Yeah, it was amazing. I definitely was shocked. 
I thought like, well, no one's gonna care to read about <laughs> us. Like, who oh. are we? No one. No, it was really interesting. The people who contact us, we had an inventor, some other small business owners. They were saying they read the magazine all the time, yeah, and they just so found cool. us in there and <laughs> called us, and it was it was crazy. We have yeah. St. Pete has so many interesting people. Um, I I really love talking to our readers and getting that kind of feedback. So yeah. we have a lot of talented people that live out here. So it's yeah. Fun. It, it's it's definitely crazy and in a good way, not, yes. <laughs> not a bad way. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's definitely one of my favorite magazines here oh, locally. Thank you. So thanks. I think you do that. a great job. Oh, <laughs> we love you guys. <laughs> so maybe we should talk a little bit about your website too. You guys have a yes. pretty nice website. Is it the same content that's in the magazine that's on the website? Or what do you guys use the website for? Some of it is. Uh, so it's definitely important that our advertisers uh, are able to share stories. And not just our advertisers. We run other content too. So uh, we feature a lot of nonprofits, um, a lot of community stories. We just ran a story about Pinellas Composting. Pinellas County Composting Alliance. Mm. Um, and so I, it's important to us that uh, people can share that content online, too. Mm. Uh, we only have so many copies that we print each month, and uh, we definitely don't want to limit it to just that circulation. So uh, the website uh, serves a couple of purposes. That would be one of them. Uh, it's also a place for people to come out and find more information about advertising, uh, circulation, demographics. Um, and then we have another side to it, uh, which uh, you guys are working with us on, uh, our business resources page, mm -hmm. uh, which is a place for um, businesses to come and uh, find specials and promotions uh, that are put out by businesses that advertise with us. So uh, it's we found a need for that um, after uh, hearing so much feedback about uh, business owners reading the other business mm -hmm. features and really looking for services that cater to their business. So we figured we would start another section on the website that was dedicated solely to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I guess everyone needs a community. So I think mm -hmm. people forget that businesses are people too. Yeah. And uh, recently. <laughs> They're your neighbors. <laughs> I know. It's so crazy yeah. because you think like, oh, it's a business. It's like this faceless thing and yeah. like this whatever. big corporate giant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. And recently I was at Creative Mornings and they had some, and I don't remember this guy's name, so hopefully people don't think That's I'm okay. an a-hole. But he was talking about how business owners are often very lonely and Aww. because it, it's just you and you yeah. feel like oh my god I'm sitting in this box and I don't I don't know like I don't have anyone to talk to yeah and that's probably why they've come to you and said you know we want to like hear more yeah I think so I that that connection is really important and I think there's something to be said for getting to know people or knowing what's offered in your neighborhood or your community you know St. Pete is very close-knit so uh, rather than just going online and doing some you know, random search, pulling up anything, um, you know, you have this one source that you kind of trust that you can turn to. So yes, community is definitely very important and feeling supported in that way is a vital part to business too. Yeah. And to yeah. touch on what you're saying, the corporations are people in St. Pete, they really are very small. It's very local. There's a lot of yeah. one person, two people, small businesses. So it, yeah. it really is just a person a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. It can get a little bit lonely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Especially long days. Press time. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Press. Like, oh, I want to sell everything and run away. Like, I don't have those moments anymore. But in the beginning, I did. Yeah, it can be tough. I, it's really tough to, you know, uh, get your name out there and get the ball rolling. Yeah. So. And it seems so much easier than just to sell everything and become like an Instagram, like whatever person. I know. It does look like a good life, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like, why am I not in Dubai? <laughs> like... I think St. Pete is beautiful, though. I That's constantly true. remind myself that people uh, vacation here and that this is, uh, you know, uh, uh, it looks like a postcard sometimes. I have to pinch myself that this yeah. is home. So yeah. it's beautiful. I think we sometimes take it for granted. At least yeah. I do because I've lived here for so long and it's just St. Pete. Like, I know St. Pete when it was just little old St. Pete and, like, nothing was it's happening. not that anymore. I know. And then <laughs> yeah. I forget. I walk outside. It's like, oh, St. Pete is kind of like. That's a big deal now. I know. Yeah. So, 
But yeah, it it can get lonely as a business person. So I think it's nice that you've launched something where businesses can share with each other. And and that's something that we try to do with our blog posts and our website. We Mm -hmm. try to offer as much information that people can use. Maybe someone cannot afford to hire a marketing agency, but maybe they will find one of our blog posts and it will help them. Absolutely. You guys do such a great job. I know I've learned so much I just from the post coming through I about digital marketing and uh, just tips even outside of that. Um, it's really a wealth of uh, knowledge and resources. So I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Chick. It's working. <laughs> Um, but, you know, sometimes blogging can be like, oh, my God. Like, yeah. I mean, and you know about deadlines and all that. So, like, oh, my God, I got to. My life. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'm just, like, not feeling it. Like, I'd rather go to, like, Kawa and drink coffee than, like, write and this blog And you should book. do that. You got to step away sometimes and just, uh, you know, check out. So, I we do that. Sometimes you'll find us during press time out walking at Vinoy or, you know, really? we'll take the dogs to the park. Yeah, you just got to step away and tune out for a little bit. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I think you get kind of caught in this, um, you know, uh, hamster wheel of trying to, you know, just turn it out to put it out. And for us, uh, you know, it's really important that you keep the quality up and that, you know, and sometimes the answers come to you, too. You know, you'll step away and it's like, oh, that's what I was looking for. So it's nice to take time for that space. You're right. So I'll, I'll be running away to Kawa like, yeah, all do the that. time. Like every time I have a blog post, I'm like, peace out, guys. I'll be I gotta right. go. <laughs> I gotta go. I'm clearing my mind. I know. I'm just always up till midnight every Sunday because I have a blog post that's due at 8 a.m. on Monday. And Oh, my I God. Don't... This is something that I have tried to get Jake to change this thing. I just want him to move the blog post to another day outside of Monday. It's not about the day. If it was Tuesday, I'd be up until midnight on Monday doing it. So it's just, (sighs) I don't know. Jake comes in on Monday morning and like the blog post is due at 10 o'clock and it's nine and he's all angry and like, I got to get, I'm like, just move it to another day. Like it's bad enough that it's Monday. Like now it's like your blog post Monday. It's just (laughs) Way to start the week, Jake. I know. It's like Monday from hell. Just like move it. I'll consider it. (laughs) Maybe one day. We'll be rooting for you. Thank (laughs) you. Thank you. And so it's like, why are you punishing yourself? But I do understand that if it's moved another day. Yeah, it's deadlines too. I. It's just you know, you got to get it done. So yeah. I don't, for us, we're on the same, you got to keep it on schedule. So, you know, we do take breaks and go to the park, but that said, we'll stay up late because stuff's got to get done. So um, I think it's finding that balance somewhere mm-hmm. between. That's, yeah. yeah. That's the so tough part. how do you guys deal with, you know, good enough and on time and per- perfect and late? Like, how do you, like, <laughs> do you have those struggles too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. At some point, you just got to say that this is okay and you got to walk away. Yeah. So I, it's not, there's stuff that I find every issue after we go uh, to press that I would have done differently, mm-hmm. that, you know, it wasn't lined up. It wasn't, you know, there's something about layout. But um, I guess that kind of stuff, you just kind of, uh, you know, save in the back of your mind for next issue and you just keep doing it better. So, um, you know, I, if anything, I, mistakes are bound to happen. You just have to commit to doing it better next time. Yeah. So, just like, I don't, yeah. Turn it in. We yeah. struggle with that too. Oh yeah. my gosh. And Jake is always like the voice of reason. Like, okay guys, like there's a deadline. This is getting a little bit much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're all like, but we have op- other options. Like, no, yeah, put them I, away. I'm a strong proponent of good and on time. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's Jake healthy. Is. That's yeah. good. I, I am. <sighs> I don't know. I always, it's like, I always think there's more. Like, I could yeah, do but this. I think it's that balance. So Tony yeah. and I are kind of the same way where Tony is probably the more good and on time. Mm-hmm. And I'm more the, you know, let's tear it apart and do it again until it's yeah. perfect. Um And there's nothing saying that tearing it apart and doing it again is even perfect or going to make it that much better. It's just different. Yeah, sometimes it's just different. And so, um, but I think having that personality combo is really uh, what drives creativity and balance. Mm -hmm. You know, it keeps you pushing forward, but then there's always that one person who's going, okay, we can be done now. (laughs) Yeah, I know. So that's kind of a really healthy, healthy balance to have. That's true. It works for us. That's true. 
Yeah, I yeah. guess you have a point, Jake. <laughs> but I think the balance is what you need, though. I yeah, think that makes absolutely. sense. Absolutely, yeah. because I, you know, you can't have too much of yeah. just the, yeah. you know, I always being on time. You know, there also takes another person saying, "Hey, could we do this differently?" Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. So yeah. I, okay. I think it's that driving force, and then also the throttle. You That's know? true. Yeah. So good point. Yeah, I never thought about it that way. Maybe I did, <laughs> but maybe not recently. Um, so I guess we should talk about something more serious, and which is how do you market yourself, and how do you keep your readers interested and in coming back for more, and how do you get more readers and things like We're that? We're really lucky in the sense that we direct mail every single month to 15,500 homes. So, um, you know, that's our biggest marketing tool is that we're in your mailbox every month. So, um, you know, uh, even if you're not an avid reader, you have to make a decision whether Mm. (laughs) you're going to pick it up or, um, you know, hopefully recycle it. Um, But, or pass it to a neighbor. Um, You know, we we have a lot of people who actually will call us for extra copies because they, uh, you know, want to share it to uh, with a neighbor or they ended up giving it away to, you know, I had a lady call the other day. She shares it with her sister in Clearwater um, because her sister is really interested in what's going on in St. Pete and they don't have anything like this in Clearwater. So, oh. um, you know, I had another lady uh, call me saying that she had received a copy and the center spread was torn out. Um, so, you know, people will, uh, you know, take the magazine, take what they need from it and then pass it along and share it. So we really have been lucky in terms of marketing. I, you know, our biggest marketing is actually our readers um, sharing it with friends, with family, with business owners. So, um, you know, I, I feel like we kind of, you know, hit the jackpot on that mm. um in terms of how we get people to continue reading it i think it's just up to us to continue putting out content that people are interested in and yeah. that reflects the community mm-hmm. so that's really our biggest goal is that you know we want people to look at this magazine and say hey this is a great reflection of saint pete um it's inclusive it features local business and you know i can take away a little piece of history from it and mm. you know if people can say that i consider my my job well done so yeah, I, I I would agree with that. And also, I guess it makes it easier to sell ads in your magazine. I, I'm assuming that businesses just call you. Our readers are our biggest salespeople. Um, That's the I, best they, kind of sales. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Please. <laughs> Keep doing that. Yeah. I, we, I, although I will say uh, we recently uh, brought on a salesperson, uh, Eileen. She's been working with us for a few months now, and she is fantastic. She used to do uh, sales, membership sales for the St. Pete Chamber. So, oh, wow. Um, yeah. And she has experience with her own publication. So she's been uh, in a great addition to our team. So, you know, I, I think it takes a multifaceted approach. I, there's definitely a, a few ways that sales come in and uh, our readers are a big part of that. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a big deal. So you have one more person on your team. You've yeah. added more people to your yeah. team. So yeah. We, and she probably knows people who know people who know absolutely. people. Which oh. is, <laughs> I do. I, she definitely I knows a lot more people than I do. So that's she, awesome. Yeah, she's very well connected in St. Pete. So. That's, that's really, really awesome. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thank that's you. kind of a big Thank deal. You. Yeah, we're excited. <laughs> so team's growing. That's good. That's always good. It it definitely becomes more and more real as you get more people on your team. Absolutely. And, and more amazing, at least for me. I like to have a lot of people around me. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't like working by myself. It's just lonely. I like finding a balance of the two. I, okay. For me, I, I do. When we're working on writing or something like that, the last thing I want is a bunch True. of people around me. So I usually have my headphones on, my laptop open, and um, you know, I'm either sitting in my loft or out at a park or, you know, that I kind of want to tune out. So, but uh, for me, I'm involved in a lot of uh, neighborhood organizations and uh, I'm taking the Kona leadership course this uh, oh, wow. this year and uh, yeah, a council of neighborhood associations. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. Um, so that's kind of I, the social aspect. Um, but yeah, as, in terms of actually like laying out the magazine and writing, I, 
that we kind of <laughs> we kind of have to have your yeah exactly like you have moment. to focus yeah so. that makes sense if you have too many people absolutely it's too loud absolutely but no I, when we first started the magazine we we were anticipating uh, you know having uh, just a few writers and one editor and um, you know really keeping our our team small mm-hmm. and uh, it's been the opposite of that we actually collaborate with a lot of a lot more people than we originally anticipated so um, I it's fun. I, I really enjoy um, cross promoting and uh, all the different people we've had the opportunity to meet. It's uh, really special. So yeah, it's it's impressive. I think it's awesome and also impressive to do all this and like Thanks. you know I used to think like oh my god some huge like fancy organization is behind this man. But I did. I'm like sorry. Like, it, no, it, no, it's good. It's it's really good. Yeah. It's like you know it's 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 pretty legit and like polished and not a hot mess and like it's like a publication I like Thanks. so it's very impressive yeah. thank you is yeah. there anything else we want to discuss Jake um, I think we covered most of it is there anything else we should have asked you about that we haven't or anything else you want to talk about um, I don't think so I just other than the fact that this magazine really wouldn't work without a community like St. Pete uh, we really feel lucky to live here and publish here and we're grateful for our neighbors and uh, all the local businesses and organizations we have. It's really, uh, that is the biggest driver of our content and um, biggest reflection of our community. So, And if there's anyone out there that maybe isn't getting the magazine right now and they're interested or they're interested in advertising, you know, how should they get in contact with you? Or They can the visit our website, uh, greenbenchmonthly.com. Uh, there's a button to click uh, get my copy. We have... Uh, couple of ways you can sign up for digital subscriptions uh we offer uh mailed subscriptions and then you can also pick up a copy from local businesses so all right sounds good and if any of the viewers or listeners out there have any comments or questions they can leave it in the comments below if they're watching the video and if they're listening they can visit us at our social media and uh, let us know anything that they want to let us know i think it's been a great episode and we'll have something just as great for you next time Okay, thank you. Thanks, you guys. Thanks (laughs) for having me.